I'll show you how to set up a pickleball court on a tennis court. And I'm going to use this roller wheel I got from Harbor Freight. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to start right here on the service line T. And you're going to start in the middle and you're going to roll out 10 feet and put a line here. You're going to go back to the middle and repeat the process and roll out 10 feet to this side. You're going to put a line here. Now you're going to go on the baseline right here at the center T. You're going to repeat the process, roll out 10 feet. You're going to put a line here. Then you're going to repeat the process and put a line here out 10 feet. Now from the baseline, you're going to roll out 10 feet towards the back, I'm sorry, 11 feet towards the back fence. You're going to put a line here. You're going to come over here on the other side and you're going to repeat the process. So you'll have an 11 foot line from the baseline here as well. Now you're going to take your chalk line and you're going to start it right here on the service line and run it all the way back to the pickleball baseline and create a nice line here. You're going to repeat that process on this side right here from the service line T. And then once you have a good line established, you can basically reverse it and you can bring it up here and you can just eyeball it based on the line that you've already drawn. The service line will act as your kitchen line that's the, the court closest to the net. Now to get the other kitchen line, you're going to measure off 14 feet from the back of this service line, the back of this line, 14 feet. You're going to get a mark right here. You're going to do it up on the other side as well. And then you're going to run your chalk line right there as well. Now, once everything is chalked off, you can uh, tape it down. What I like to do is just put some Sharpie markers down. So if you're reapplying tape, you can uh, just follow these sharp Sharpie markers the next time.